Our next experiment is regarding Newton's first law of motion. This is going this experiment will explain Newton's first law of motion which states that an object at rest or in motion continues to be in that state unless acted upon by an external force. So this is Newton's first law of motion. Now I'm going to show you Newton's first law of motion through this experiment. For this experiment you will need a plate and two eggs. One boiled egg, I've labeled it B and one unboiled egg, that is one raw egg. One uncooked and one boiled egg. So what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to spin the boiled egg. You see it spins and when I stop it, it stops immediately, right? So let us see what happens next with the unboiled, that is the raw egg. So I'm spinning it again. And when I stop it, it doesn't stop. Can you see? It keeps rotating. I'll do it once again with the boiled egg. So the boiled egg, it is labeled B. I am spinning it. When I stop it, it stops. In the case of the unboiled egg, I'm spinning it. And when I stop it, it doesn't stop. So why does this happen? This happens because the boiled egg is one solid mass. Since we have cooked the egg, you know how a boiled egg is, right? It is one solid mass inside. However, the raw egg, the uncooked egg, has fluid inside. Yes, we know the yellow yolk inside. So when you stop the uncooked egg, this fluid which is inside doesn't stop. That continues to move. Therefore, it will push against the shell and thus the egg will start spinning again. In the boiled egg, it is all one solid mass. So when you stop it, the entire content stops. So did you understand? This proves the Newton's first law of motion. So an object which is in rest or in motion stays in that state unless an external force acts on it. Once again, I'll explain. We took one boiled egg and one uncooked egg. And when we spin the boiled egg and stop it, it stops immediately. In the case of the uncooked egg, when we spin it and stop it, it doesn't stop. And now you know why. It is because of the fluids inside. When we stop it, we stop only the outer shell. The fluids inside continue to move and push against the shell causing it to move. So I hope you enjoyed this experiment.